Welcome. The following is an Acer Chromebook 13, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So, when you boot it up, you'll be presented with this screen here. Welcome. So, number one, select your language and region. So, you can see your language right here. And you have the drop down, and you can simply just choose your desired language. Now, I'm gonna stick with English. And then you can tap on Let's Go. Then, on this page, we will be able to connect to Wi Fi. If you don't have one, you can uh, simply skip this. For me, I have, for some reason, I cannot. Uh, I think I'll need to also verify the account, uh, but we will see soon enough. So I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi right here. Google Chrome OS terms, so those are the terms of service. Again, you can go through them and read the entire page right here, but at the end of the day you still have to accept to continue. Sign into your Chromebook, so here we have the option to log into our uh, Google account. Now, I believe this step is optional, uh, so I'm gonna try to skip it. Let's see, more option. Okay, so it looks like we do have to have an account for some reason. I guess that would make sense considering it's based solely on Chrome. Um, so as you can see, in the more options, you can create a, like an enterprise enrollment or also create an account so if you don't have a Google account you can create it from here um, but I do so that's what I'm gonna use there we go and now let me put in the password so as you can see it's logging in now and you are signed in so at the moment we're signed in, have personal Google services and Chrome Sync. So as you can see, you can read those review sync options followed. Click it, accept and continue. And you have Google partners uh, work with your assistants to help you. Um, let's see what it is. So you can tap on the drop down to read both of them. Secure and privacy. Um, to continue and hopefully the battery did and die there we go um, so right here we are able to set up our uh, Google assistant now I'm not going to be doing that it takes a little bit you basically tap on I agree and it will give you a, a list of things that you need to read while the computer is listening to you so it adjusts to your voice and accent and from there it will well, work normally but I'm just gonna skip it for now so I don't have to go through that. And your assistant's ready. Cool, let's tap on done. And there we go. We're now on the home screen with the setup being completely finished. And also in a different language than I chosen. That's interesting. But yeah, that is basically how you go through the setup process of the device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.